Search for Dr. Panda. Oh. Yay! <laughs> There, Leo! Where are you off to today? Whoa! You're going to the Sahara Desert in Africa! Oh, I see. You're going to take some photos! Awesome! Let's go on an adventure! I see. You want to take photos of a desert fox, a scorpion, a scarab beetle, and a gerboa! A gerboa is like a desert mouse. It can run really fast. Uh, none of the creatures you're looking for seem to be around right now, Leo. I guess you'll have to wait. Maybe you'd better set up camp before it gets really dark. Lots of creatures in hot places sleep during the day, so now they'll be waking up. You might see what you've been looking for now. Would you like some help spotting your creatures? Can you help Leo spot the desert creatures? Awesome! <laughs> Let's get spotting! Aha! There's a creature up ahead. Hmm. Now does that shape belong to the fox? The scorpion? The scarab beetle? Or the gerboa. Fox. That's right. It's the desert fox. Okay, so does this shape belong to the scorpion, the scarab beetle, or the gerboa? Beetle. Yep, it's the scarab beetle. I think there's something in your tent, Leo. Don't worry, that's not the creature. It's just its shadow. So that shape is either the scorpion or the gerboa. Ooh, scorpion. <laughs> yep, you got it. It's the scorpion. Better stand back, Leo. Those guys can sting. Now there's just one more to spot. I think we know what this one is. Gerboa. That's right. The last creature on your list. The gerboa. Now you have photos of all the creatures on your list, Leo. Good job. Uh-oh. Looks like your batteries have run out, Leo. Ooh. You don't have to be afraid, Leo. You're not alone. Night-night, everyone. Hey there, Moo! What an exciting day! I can't wait to see Hoopa's new invention to make your apples grow bigger! Oh, here he is! Hey, Hoopa! Is that the Hoopatron? Wow, it looks amazing! Whoa, that's awesome! So the big button makes things bigger, and the small button makes things smaller, is that right? <laughs> okay! Let's see it in action. Wow, Hoopa, look at the size of that apple. Wow! Uh-oh! Oh no! Where have Hoopa and Moo gone? Oh, there you are! Don't worry, Hoopa. It's just an ant. <gasps> hey, look! These insects are wondering what kind of insect you are. <laughs> hmm. Maybe one of these insects could take you to the Hoopatron so you can get back to your normal size. <laughs> well, you're going to need to fly to the Hoopatron because it's far away and, and really high up. So, which insect would be best for the job? 
No worries, it's Dr. Panda Toto time! We'll help you decide who to ask! Can you help Moo and Hoopa decide which insect to ask for help? Let's see, should Hoopa and Moo ask the ant to carry them? Or the snail? Or the butterfly? Butterfly! You're right! Hoopa and Moo should ask the butterfly to take them to the Hoopatron. The butterfly can fly there! <laughs> wow! What an adventure! Thanks for helping, Butterfly! Uh, Hoopa, I think Moo's chicken needs to go back to normal size, too. <laughs> hey there, Leo! What an awesome collection of souvenirs from all your travels you have! Bless you, Leo! That's one beautiful feather, Leo. Why don't you show everyone where it came from? Brazil, in South America. Shall we tell the story of how you got that feather? Yep, I remember. It all started when you were on your boat in the Brazilian rainforest. Baby Parrot thinks you're its mommy, Leo. Hmm, maybe you'd better try and find its real mommy, Leo. Would you like some help to find her? Can you help Leo find the Baby Parrot's mother? <laughs> awesome! Let's get searching! The Baby Parrot's mother will be red, like its baby. Ooh, there's something red over there! Could that be the baby's mother? <laughs> nope, parrots fly. They don't jump. Those are frogs. We'll have to keep looking. Oh, look! Something up in the trees can fly. Does that look like a parrot's tail? Could this be our missing mommy? <laughs> nope, that's not a parrot. That's a monkey! Monkey! <laughs> now that you've got your binoculars back, Leo, we better keep looking for the mommy parrot! What's that behind those bushes? Do parrots have ears like that? It's definitely not a parrot! That's a jaguar! I think it might be a good time to run! Ah, <sighs> finding baby parrot's mom sure is hard, isn't it, Leo? Oh, bless you! Hey, Leo, what's that? Do you think that could be the baby parrot's mommy? Yes! Here she is! Ah, oh, look, Leo! You have a new souvenir that'll help you remember the day! <laughs> Hi, Olette. What are you working on today? Moo! Oh, what's the matter, Moo? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Better move it, Olette! Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. Some of Moo's carrots have gone missing! She won't be able to bake her delicious carrot cake if the rest disappear, too! No worries, Moo! Detective Olette is on the case! Ah, it looks like Detective Olette has a plan. A piece of string and a bell. Hmm, what is she going to do with those? Good thinking, Olette. When the carrot moves, the bell will ring and we can find out what's going on. Now all we have to do is wait until we hear the sound of the bell. 
Can you help Olette listen out for the sound of the bell? Let's listen really carefully. Shh. Oh, do you hear that? Was that the sound of a bell? No, that wasn't the sound of the bell ringing. That was one of Moo's chickens clucking. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that the sound of Olette's bell? Nope, that was the sound of a frog. Oh, hey, Olette! That's the sound of your bell! Now we'll find out what's happening with those carrots. Huh, how about that? It's a little bunny. Aw, looks like he's really hungry, Moo. Moo, you made your famous carrot cake for the bunny and all his friends. Mm, that cake sure looks delicious. Look, Leo's already looking for something with his binoculars. <laughs> Ahoy there, Leo! What are you looking for today? Huh? What's that noise? Oh, quick, Leo! Get your camera! That's a baby whale! Uh-oh, she doesn't look very happy. Something's wrong. Oh, no! The poor whale's tail is stuck in plastic! Aww. What's all that plastic trash doing in the sea? That's not where it should go. No worries, Leo. We can help free her. We just need to find the right object to help her. Awesome! I bet there's something in your trunk that'll help free her. Can you help Leo pick the right object for the job? Let's see, do we need a pirate hat? Do we need a life vest? Do we need an anchor? Watch out, Leo, that looks heavy. Ouch! Or do we need a pair of scissors? So, our little whale friend is stuck in plastic. What object would be best to free her? The pirate hat? The life vest? The anchor? Or the scissors? Scissors! That's right! The pair of scissors! These will cut our friend free. The scissors worked! Our friend is free! Oh, wow! This must be her mother! Your daughter was stuck in all that nasty plastic, but now she's free! Leo saved her! That was awesome! I bet you can't wait to show all your friends your whale pictures, Leo. Oh, you forgot to take pictures. Well, that doesn't really matter. What's more important is you made a new friend. <laughs> What are you looking for today? Let's take a closer look. Wow, the pink jellyfish. They sure look funny. What else is on your list? A leopard shark. That's going to be a tough one to spot. <laughs> wow, the famous big purple octopus. Ooh, that's the orange starfish. I heard. If you shine a light on them, they begin to sing. So you're looking for these four sea creatures. 
can we help you find them? Awesome! Wow, look, there's the coral reef! That's where the sea creatures live! Can you help Leo count the sea creatures? I wonder how many we'll find. All right, let's get counting. Hey, that's a jellyfish. Is it the pink jellyfish Leo was looking for? Nope, that's a blue jellyfish. Let's keep on looking. Is that the pink jellyfish Leo is looking for? Yep, that's the one! One pink jellyfish! Ooh, look at all those sharks! Can you spot the leopard shark? Is that a leopard shark? Nope, this one has stripes! It's a tiger shark! Is that a leopard shark? Yes, it is! That's one spotted leopard shark! Oh, wow, there's another! That's two! Two leopard sharks! Wow, what an amazing sight! Uh-oh, that's definitely not a leopard shark! That's the great white shark! The world's biggest predatory fish! Better keep moving, Leo! Whoa! That was a close one, Leo. Hmm, this part of the reef is a little dark. Try switching on some extra lights. Look! One starfish! And there's another one! That makes two! Wow, another one! Three orange starfish! What a show! Whoa! You scared us there! Uh, hello! You are one big purple octopus! Bye-bye, Mr. Octopus! See you next time! Hey there, Leo! Your friend Mr. Penguin looks a bit sad and really hot! Do you want to go home, Mr. Penguin? You live in Antarctica? I bet it's really cold there. Leo's gonna take you home, Mr. Penguin. Let's go on an Arctic adventure. Hmm, I don't see any penguins anywhere. No worries, Leo! It's Dr. Panda Toto time! We'll help you find Mr. Penguin's family! Can you help Leo find Mr. Penguin's family? Awesome! Okay, if we can't see Mr. Penguin's family, maybe we can hear them! Let's start listening! Oh, does that sound like Penguin? Nope, those are arctic terns, not penguins. Boys, do you think that could be Mr. Penguin's family? Uh-oh, that's not a penguin, that's a whale! Phew, huh. Maybe you should try looking for Mr. Penguin's family on land now, Leo. Mm, does that sound like a penguin? Uh, Leo, where are you going? Mr. Penguin says it's not his family. Uh-oh! Watch out for that water! It's freezing cold! Phew! That was close! <laughs> Looks like that tickles, Leo! Hmm, we still haven't found Mr. Penguin's family. What's that? Could that be the sound of Mr. Penguin's family? 
Aw, that noise was Mr. Penguin's family. He's really happy to be home. Good job, Leo. Uh-oh, are you starting to feel cold, Leo? Wow, Leo, that's a warm welcome. Have fun hanging out with Mr. Penguin's family. Here's Leo's boat, but where's Leo? Let's take a look to the left. Hmm, nope, he's not there. Let's take a look to the right. That's not Leo. <laughs> hmm, let's take a look up in the mast. Nope, that's not Leo either. Maybe he's gone diving. Let's go look down under the waves. There you are, Leo. You're in your little submarine. You're going to look for underwater sea creatures. Awesome. You want to find your favorite tropical fish, the orange clownfish. Clownfish. Wow, look at all the beautiful colors of the reef. Pretty. Can you help Leo spot the orange clownfish? Ooh, look, are those fish orange? No, those fish are all purple. Purple. Those definitely aren't the fish Leo's looking for. Let's keep looking. Wow, look at that. A treasure chest. What's inside? Is that the orange clownfish? Nope, that's a red crab. Never mind, we'll keep on searching. Look, maybe the orange clownfish is in this school of fish. What color is this fish? Yellow. Yes, Toto, this fish is yellow. It's a yellow butterfly fish. And what color is this fish? Uh, brown. Well done, Toto. That fish is brown. It's a brown puffer fish. When a puffer fish gets scared, it blows up like a balloon. Whoa, look at this one. Can you name the colors on this parrot fish? Uh, pink. Yep, it's pink. And do you know what colors the stripes are? Uh, blue. Green. That's right. The parrot fish is pink with blue and green stripes. Hmm. But we still need to find Leo's favorite orange clownfish. Do you see the clownfish anywhere? Maybe it's behind this coral. Can you see it? Yes, there it is. We finally found the orange clownfish. Wow, look at those wonderful pictures. Those are awesome, Leo. Ahoy there, Leo! So, are you relaxing after all your exploring at sea? Uh, Leo, have you seen what's up ahead? Iceberg! Uh, are you all right, Leo? Uh-oh. Leo's boat is sinking! Quick, Leo! You better get in your rowboat! Oh no! You've lost your boat, Leo! <sighs> but at least you're safe! And Mr. Penguin lost his house! It looks like you two are in the same boat now! So, what are you going to do? Aha! Now you'll have to row your boat. And I know just the song to keep you going. Yeah. <laughs> A captain must be strong at sea. Row his crew to safety. Big and tough, the surf is rough. Over the way so bravely. Row, row, you're not alone. Friends will keep you rowing. Row, row, you're nearly home. Just gotta keep on going. Just what to do on a difficult journey Keeps his nerves, calms the crew 
sings them all the song. <laughs> row, row, you're not alone. Friends will keep you rowing. Row, row, you're nearly home. Just gotta keep on going. Riding waves, try to smile. Getting high and mighty. Who's afraid? No, not I. I think it's sharks that I see. Row, row, you're not alone. Friends will keep you rowing. Row, row, you're nearly home. Just gotta keep on going. Just gotta keep on going. Just gotta keep on going. What's the matter, Leo? Are you too tired to keep rowing? Huh? What's happening? Hey, it's your whale friends. Mrs. Whale and Baby, thank you for the ride. It's good to land and be back home, nice and warm and dry. It's good to land and be back home, nice and warm and dry. Ah, oh, thank you so much for your help, Mrs. Whale. Bye bye. Wow. That sure was one great adventure at sea, Leo. And you made some great friends along the way. It's too bad you lost your trusty old boat, though. Well, what do you know? It's the big purple octopus, and it's bringing your old boat back. That is awesome. Hey, octopus, can I get a high five? Uh, I mean, Hi, eight? <laughs> Thanks for joining Leo on his adventure, guys. Ahoy there, Leo! What sea creatures are you looking for? Ooh, dolphins! What was that? Oh, I get it. That's the sound a dolphin makes. Good thinking! You are going to listen to see if there are any dolphins. Let's help Leo listen very carefully to see if there are any dolphins nearby. If you hear them, shout out, dolphins! Dolphins! <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, Toto. We'll have to wait and listen first. Hmm. All we can hear right now is the waves. Can you help Leo listen for the sound of the dolphins? Hear that? Is that the sound of a dolphin? <laughs> <laughs> Ew! <laughs> That's not a dolphin. That's a seagull. Daddy. No worries, Leo. We'll just have to be patient and wait a little bit longer. Listen, is that the sound of the dolphins? Oh no! There goes your camera! Huh, that was lucky. One of those sea lions caught it. And that's where the sound came from, too. Thank you, Mr. Sea Lion. Sea Lion! Still no dolphins. Let's have one more go at trying to hear them. Another animal sound. Is that the sound of a dolphin? Yeah! Dolphins! Here they come, Toto! Dolphins! Oh no! Leo has fallen asleep! He'll miss the dolphins! Can you help us wake up Leo? On the count of three, say as loud as you can, Dolphins! One, two, three... Dolphins! dolphins! Uh-oh, he's still sleeping. Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe the dolphins can help us. Hey, dolphins, Leo would love to take a picture of you, but he's asleep. Can you help us wake him up? <laughs> Leo, look, here are the dolphins. Wow, look at those pictures. Those are awesome, Leo. Thanks for helping Leo spot the dolphins. Be sure to join us on Leo's next boat trip and see what other amazing sea creatures we can find. Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye-bye! Hi there!
Stick around for more Toto Time episodes. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Search for Dr. Panda.